exercise, A, because it's good for me, and B, because we have such a good laugh. I love exercising. I've been to gyms all my life, and it has kept me supple. I love to exercise because I'm 77 now, and I want to keep myself as fit as I can for as long as I can. Welcome to the show. Today we are in lovely Sedgefield. We're headed over to the parish hall to meet up with Sue. She's got some great exercises for us to help work on our coordination. Hi there, my name's Sue and I'm here in Sedgefield Parish Hall today. We want to just show some easy, simple moves that you can do at home, either sitting in your chair or if you feel a little bit stronger, standing behind the chair. So before we start, if you have a nice steady dining room chair, that would be brilliant. So something quite sturdy and nothing too slippy on the floor around you. And then if you can, just bring yourself forward on that chair. We just don't want to be slouched leaning to the back of the chair if you can. And then I'm gonna hold on to the chair here and I'm gonna set my feet about hip distance apart. Then can we think a little bit about posture? So just pulling the tummy muscles in and sitting up nice and tall in that chair. And then we're ready to go. Very easy, just lightly, brilliant, thank you. And just lightly tapping the feet down. We're just going into a little bit of a march. And this is just gonna get blood circulating. It's gonna warm our muscles up. And just lightly tapping the feet. Now you might feel more comfortable staying with this movement, holding onto the chair, and that's absolutely great. If you think, no, oh, I could do a little bit more with that, then it might be that you can start and bring a little bit of arm movement into it as well. And that would be wonderful. So either holding on, or just bringing those arms into the move. And then just a nice steady rhythm with this. Not too quick, not too slow. Just steadily tapping the feet down and moving your arms at the side. And we're just going to keep that move going. Maybe do two or three times more. And then just holding it here. Fabulous. Holding the chair again. You could take it from there into another little move. I'm just going to ask you to just bring one leg forward and back. So it's a little heel dig, forward and back, and forward and back. So when you're ready, we're just going to do a little tap forward, lovely, and back. And again, just warming up here, getting our bodies moving. Stay with that, or if you know I could do a little bit, I'm happy with that, add your opposite arm into the movement. So then we start and get a little bit more coordination into our moves staying in the chair or bringing yourself up to a standing position and we can just keep on going and all the time we're doing it think about keeping the tummy muscles in standing tall so nice posture there and then keep on going maybe two more on each side this is one and again and then from there so just have a little pause for a moment and I'm just going to tap my foot out to the side and bring it back. Tap out and back. So a little tap out to the side and back. Tap out, yep. And again, this could be your option, keeping hold of that chair so you feel comfortable with it. Or we can start and think about opposite arm and leg coming out to the side. Brilliant. And again, just tapping out to the side and out. Wonderful. So we tap out and back. Tapping out and back. Out to the side and back. And out to the side and back. And that is absolutely brilliant. Well done, everyone. And thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sue, for guiding us through those exercises there. You can join us again tomorrow, of course. Same time. We'll see you then.